All right, guys, so <clears throat> for today's assignment, we're going to start off here. I've already completed some of it, but we're, what we're going to do is kind of do a report card. And uh, we'll go ahead and call it that. First thing, as always, is go to page layout, fix your margins, see where your margins are at. All right, we want all this to fit. This time, we're going to go with the landscape, OK? We're going to give this a title, and we're going to go ahead and call it report card. So we're going to highlight these cells right here. Actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a couple of them. We're going to go to Home, Merge. We want them to be right in the middle. All right. So we're going to type this Report Card. All right. We're going to put this here in the middle. We're going to color it just so it looks good. And we're also going to change the color of the text. And we're going to put an outline around it. All right, we're going to put a thick outside border. OK, so that looks like that. All right, let's go. I'm, I should have added an extra row here. So to do that, we click on the number that we want. We right click on the number right below where we want to add a row. And then we click Insert. OK, and that will insert a column. OK, and let me just go ahead and put no fill here for that. Perfect. I'm actually going to add one more here just so there's something there on top. Okay, so this is our report card. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger and bold. Okay, so I'm actually going to add a column here because I don't want that to be right up against the uh, the edge there. Okay, so period. Okay, I'm going to center this. All right, subject. This is based on your report card. Okay and assignments all right now each teacher has to have at least eight assignments per uh six weeks all right i'm also going to make these all the width of five okay five so make them all the width of five so that way we can add all the assignments that we need to add okay you're going to keep this going throughout the six weeks I am going to go around and grade it now, but I, it has to be matching with your current class schedule. That's why I put third period enrichment and seventh period lunch. So that's what you should have. All right, I'm going to add a few more. I'm going to go ahead and put about 12 just to be on the safe side because some teachers will give more than eight. A lot of teachers will give more than eight assignments per six weeks, but they have to have a minimum minimum of eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, twelve is let's go with fifteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. And I'm going to move this over. I'm going to make this one a little smaller. OK, because we need this one over here. So what we're going to have here is average. All right, actually, I want all this to be left aligned. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this same blue. Why not? Give it a font color of white and bold it. And let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, let's see if we can make this. Let's make our margins a little bit bigger so everything fits. We're going to go to Page Layout, Margins, and go to Narrow. And that buys us some more space. OK, so now, and I'm going to center this now that I have that. I'm going to go ahead and remerge it. There we go. It looks better now. And put an outline around it. All righty. I'm also going to put in, we're also going to highlight this right here, and we are going to go with all borders. All right, so we've got all our assignments there. This, These I want to merge, though. That one I want to merge. So it's one big, I guess we can center. Let's go ahead and center. Okay. So what you're going to do is go ahead and go onto your um, uh, Skyward, and you're going to go ahead and put in assignments. So let's say for biology, you have a hundred 
and you have a 90, and you have an 85, and a 75. And that's all you've got. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill these out. Okay, I went ahead and filled these out. What I'm going to do with the enrichment one is I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in a light gray and lunch in a light gray. All right, so now what I've got here is a way to figure out the average. So this is very simple. What you're going to do is let's also highlight all this and center it so it looks nicer. Okay, so what we're going to do is highlight this and include the average column. And right here where we, where we would normally click on auto sum, we're going to select the down arrow and click average. All right, now just to test it, let's say the next assignment in biology, I get an 80. Hit enter. And that will change the average. So we're going to do this and average and this and average. Let's see if we can do two at the same time. We'll see. Mm, sure. And average. Okay, so once you have that, we're just going to pretty it up. We're going to bold all these right here since those are our averages. But the average, we don't want it to look like this where we have so many decimal points. So we're going to highlight that, right click it, and we're going to go to Format Cells, and we're going to go to Number. And we have two decimal places here. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And that fixes it. That's what we want, two decimal places. So we can see what our grades are. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. Remember, you have to go to use your. We'll also, well, let's also bold these. Yeah. You also have to use your schedule, find your grades, and calculate your averages, okay, for what you have as of the day of this assignment. All right, that's the assignment for today. Go ahead and do it.